Well, this next segment has got me incredibly excited, and I think the whole of South Africa should put their hands up and applaud. We know that fires are a massive problem, certainly down here in the Western Cape, and shack fires fit into that bracket in a big way. I think with a lack of electricity, many people turning to kerosene and paraffin lamps for heating and for light. Not only does this pose a health risk, but obviously a massive safety risk as well. Well, we have a solution, and it's come from two young geniuses, Simba Zangoni and Michael Maynard, two university students who have come up with something that is so brilliantly simple that it's life-changing. It really is. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for, for doing what you are doing. Simba, I'm going to start with you. How did this, this Solar Puff come about? Talk me through the product and, and how it came about. Well, with the Solar Puff, how it came about was we actually, as students, we came together. We tried to look for a solution which solved uh, some of South Africa's problems, which is, which you say, sh shack fires, as well as indoor air pollution. And we had a passion for the environment as well as entrepreneurship. Um, all of ourselves were actually part of an organization called Teen Entrepreneur. And uh, uh, so we came together, we formed the business. And through that, um, I'll hand over to Mike, who will explain how we came up with the concept of Project Light and what exactly it entails. Uh, with regards to the product. So before we get into the effect that this possibly could have, please do that. Explain to me what I'm looking at right here, this beautiful illumination. I'm um, talking through the product development, how you came to this final product. Well, uh, first of all, thank you so much for having us. Oh, we really awesome, appreciate guys. it. Um, but how this came about, like somebody said, is we just had uh, an idea to change something that needs to be changed in South Africa, right? And Entirely that, so, was, yeah. that was indoor air pollution and shack fine. We, we managed to to get in hold of uh, a partner in the US that uh, helped us uh, come through the, the process and they, they designed the product and started manufacturing it in China. Really and nice. we managed to, to get the sole distribution rights for this in most of Africa, which is how we thought we could scale it up and, and give it to people that needed the most, you know? Um, and I think people don't really take on board. Most of us, um, you know, a lot of people watching now live blissfully unaware of the reality that people um, deal with on a daily basis, especially going into winter when you see the smog, the smoke, that dirty smoke that hangs over the majority of, of locations in South Africa. This is going to help in a massive way. How does it actually work? What am I looking, is this solar panel? I'm assuming, how does the, um, the, the light come? <laughs> so it's, it's pretty simple. How it works is you, you leave the product in the sun for about eight hours and it gives you 12 hours of light which means you never have to pay for kerosene or for candles, anything like that. And obviously it's a clean, free, sustainable source of light. Um, and I, I love the fact it's lightweight, it's small, it's packageable, it doesn't look like it's uber expensive. How are we going to roll this out? You say you've got distribution throughout Africa. What is the plan here? How are you going to get this to the communities that need it? Uh, well, we've got three avenues which we're looking to explore in, in order to get this product into the greater community. Our first avenue would be through government funding which is obviously uh, quite great for us. Come, guys, come, yeah. another, another avenue would be through the public, through donations as well as charity mm. fundraisers. But our main initiative would be through uh, corporates, which is their corporate uh, social responsibility initiative. So we're looking to approach a number of corporates throughout South Africa and uh, partner up with them in order to make Project Light a reality, where we're looking to get 50,000 units to 50,000 grade three learners across the country, which will be incorporated into their beginning of the year uh, packs with their books, stationery, and they get a solar lantern, which also doesn't just affect the student for their education, but also allows the household to all benefit from our product over here. That's a pretty good pitch, boys. I think you're ready to meet some of those corporate partners. How can they reach you very quickly? Well, quickly they can go to our website, which is at www.sosa-invest.com. Get in yeah. on the ground level, yeah. Or just email us at info at sosa-invest.com. Yeah. Ah, guys, thank you so much for putting your best foot forward on, on a number of levels. I can promise you, if you want to partner with these boys, it will bear dividends. This is a genius product, and we're sitting next to two geniuses for getting this off the ground. Well done, boys. I know it's, it's a hard path to walk, so all the best of luck. Corporates, get involved. We really can change South Africa. Well, we've still got lots coming up. Let's see what's happening after the break.